uh, good afternoon and uh, thanks for giving this opportunity i think uh, here what i am going to share is my experience of last 3 decades uh, as a uh, practitioner management practitioner and what i have observed or what i have uh, seen uh, interacting with the academia on the sitting on the other side of the fence and uh, now of late uh, i am also a research scholar so i have also now experiencing as a student that uh, how you go through it and uh, at the end of the day uh, the people those who are working in industry have all been the product of academia they all spend their beautiful years in the institutions and then they get groomed and then they are picked up by the industry so industry and academy i don't think are two different uh, poles apart but yes this kind of synergies they need to build i think there that is why this kind of debates keep happening and i have been observing these debates uh, over last few decades <coughs> maybe my first exposure uh, i will i'll share first uh, two industry examples where uh, i have personally gained and personally experienced the uh, Uh, in uh, synergies between the institution and industry so maybe in my very early career days when i joined borugappa group i found this one beautiful building on the outskirts of chennai called institution industry interaction center and very well stocked staffed and a gm level person is heading that and i found quite a good uh, so there i found that the organization as a group uh, has a lot of uh, Uh, investment lot of in synergies in uh, collaborating with the institutes and ensuring that the quality of people which they are uh, taking from the institutes have some kind of inputs given in the early days by through these centers uh, secondly when i was part of uh, one large multinational organization uh, which was almost number one in their product for portfolios in um, india there also we found that we are struggling with the quality of engineering manpower particularly technical manpower where we have to face a lot of issues in terms of they don't have the kind of knowledge they are not being trained on the modern equipments in their institutes and uh, and even the faculties don't have idea about that what is going on the latest things in the technology in the world and how those latest technologies are being brought to india by those mnc organizations so then we took an initiative that we had a industry training center wherein we uh, entered into multiple triple p agreements with the different engineering institutes and uh, different state governments wherein we brought in the faculty to be taught on the modern products first otherwise if the faculty is not taught on the modern products how will they deliver to the students so these two examples uh, which i personally seen and personally implemented i found that these kind of efforts are required from both side academia and institution to bridge the gap and without doing those things on the grounds um, just funding is not something which helps funding may be available from different corporates through csr through governments but how we are implementing it in on the ground at the practical level the other thing which uh, i wanted to brought in uh, particularly that topic was research and uh, what is my exposure that of course at the for the corporate level we are uh, sponsoring people for doing their executive education to doing their masters and all but there's hardly i have seen that corporates are sponsoring their employees to do the phd's it is the individual interest when they opt out and they go for doing the phd's and either way whether the academicians are pulling the best talent from the industry to pursue them to do the research in their field i think that is a area where lot of focus is required and uh, on the other side when we see the synergies between the industry and academia on the research particularly uh, when a industry expert starts doing the research they found that it is they are entering into a altogether different world and there is a uh, uh, both academicians and industry experts at their own career progression path 
wherein the academician is more interested in getting the highest quality of uh, publications to make their career growth, wherein on the other side, uh, industry expert is always willing to do more experimentation and uh, innovation in their own product and services. And how do to publish it, I think that kind of a synergy, they have to build and understand each other. I think that kind of understanding and collaboration, when it takes place, there will be a much more value creation in the system on the innovations and uh, industry expertise. The other thing which I wanted to focus, like academicians are mostly, uh, they will be more focused on bringing in, testing the hypothesis or uh, doing the research paper, publication, and uh, passion for teaching, definitely. Wherein, uh, if a industry person is entering into the research, he has to, after working um, many years in the industry, maybe he's more interested in experimenting with on ideas what he has implemented and how to convert it into the research papers. I think there they need a lot of support from the academicians and understanding to empathy to understand and go through that journey so that they can create a better value and better product. So I think without taking much time, uh, these are the thoughts which I wanted to share and uh, once again, thanks you for uh, this opportunity.